you doing? Hi, how are you? My name is Tom Schroeder, and I'm with University of Orlando's Public Relations Department. And I want to welcome you to our first ever preview of Halloween Horror Nights. We've never done this before. Um, today we're going to give you an opportunity to see all of Halloween's experiences this year close up, and to talk with many of the key members of our entertainment team who are help bringing all of these things to life. So we're incredibly excited that you're here. Um, we're really excited about this year, as you know, it's our 22nd year. We've got a lot of great experiences in store for our guests. You're going to get to see it all today. I want to give you one brief commercial message. How many of you follow us on Halloween Hard Nights Facebook? Why are not all of you raising your hands? <laughs> um, just moments ago, we launched a really cool app I want to tell you guys about. You can go to our Halloween Hard Nights Facebook page and send a Halloween-themed scary phone call to your friends. So go to the page. You can choose from one of many, many different kinds of calls. You put in your friend's, or maybe your not-so-friend's phone number, and they get a really cool phone call from us. So check it out. Please tell your fans about it. Tell your readers about it, because it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. So with that, again, welcome to Halloween Heart Nights 22. First up is Jim Timon. He's our Senior Vice President of Entertainment. He oversees the creative team for Halloween Horror Nights. He'll talk to you for a few seconds. He'll introduce the members of his team. What will happen after that, guys, is the members of the Halloween creative team will kind of disperse around the room. You'll get to go to all the different areas in here and talk with them. We have plenty of time and plenty of people to talk with. So there's no reason for, oh my god, i got to get this right now. We'll wait here. We'll be done when you're done. All right? So, and we've got members of the PR team who are around. If you guys can just sort of raise your hands in the back. So there's a lot of us, too. We'll be walking around making sure you get what you need. So if you don't feel you're getting something or if you want more, just come to one of us. We'll make sure it happens, OK? That said, I hope to see you all here on September 21st for the start of Halloween Horror Nights. Say you'll be here with us, please. Yes. 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 Thank you. Um, here comes Jim Timon. Thank you, guys. Have a great afternoon. Thank you very much. And uh, thank uh, all of you for being here with us this afternoon. We're very excited to share our Halloween Horror Nights uh, content with you today. As Tom said, our 22nd year uh, of doing Halloween Horror Nights, and all of us are very passionate about this event. Many of you have been with us over the years and have seen what goes into creating Halloween Horror Nights. And as he said, a lot of our creative team is here with us this afternoon, and they're going to share all the great detail uh, that goes into this event. And especially this year, we've got some really cool stuff. As some of you have looked around the room as you've come in, the lineup this year is just incredible, and I'll go through it just really briefly on a top-line level with you, and then you can spend time with everyone I'm going to introduce to you to go into as much detail as you'd like. And we have plenty of time, and believe me, we'll talk about this all day. You can't stop us or ever shut us up, and those of you who know me know that. So I'll just start at the top. Uh, just talking about our haunted houses this year, I'll lead off with one we're just incredibly passionate about. Who's a fan of The Walking Dead? Okay, good. All right. That's our first one up. AMC's The Walking Dead. What's really cool about the lineup this year is we had a great opportunity to work with some really cool entertainment properties and some very creative partners that have teamed up with us to bring some incredible experiences to life. And AMC's The Walking Dead, we're very excited about because taking that property from the television screen and now bringing it to life is really going to be amazing for the guests. And those of you that have watched the series know that there's nothing like being trapped inside that experience. And that's what we're going to do, not only inside the haunted house, but also in the street experience that surrounds the haunted house. And if you haven't seen The Walking Dead, that's the completely terrifying piece of it, is that everyone's dead, except you. You're surrounded by walkers, and we're going to put you right in the middle of it. And the key is, how do you survive? How do you get past the walkers? They're everywhere. And that haunted house, uh, okay, I'm biased a little bit. It's one of my favorites. And I think the environment you're going to see as you talk with the show directors and the designers today uh, and working with everyone at, at AMC, it's going to be incredibly authentic. And that's one of the hallmarks of Halloween Horror Nights is working with the creative talent to make it as real and as authentic and a duplication and replication of what you see either in the movies, television, or uh, now this year taking a step into the world of video games. It's our next haunted house, the really cool world of Silent Hill. And if anybody's a video game fanatic or has seen Silent Hill, this is going to be really cool. Um, Fog World, Nether World, characters like Pyramid Head or the nurses. Uh, now, I'm not a big video gamer myself. I'm, uh, I 
I think I'm too old for that, I guess. But this property is scary. And we're going to bring Silent Hill to life. And this went over really big when we made the announcement uh, because it's a really true horror property. And again, uh, taking the rich scenic environments and the rich characters of this property in Silent Hill and replicating this in kind of our special effects, makeup, and prosthetic worlds, it's going to be really great. We're very, very excited about Silent Hill. I think you will be too. Now, taking a jump from Silent Hill to our next property, um, this is completely a twist. Penn & Teller's Newt Las Vegas. Now, we talk about some of the creative partnerships we form in Halloween Horror Nights. Now, some of you have seen us before reach into the world of great horror films and horror partnerships. We talk about television, like we did with The Walking Dead. Video games like Silent Hill. Sometimes we just reach out to really cool, creative, talented people in the business. Penn and Teller are no exception. Now, we talked to them, started off with a very casual conversation. It led to this three hour creative session with them about what could they do and bring to Halloween Horror Nights. It was completely new and different. This is what it is New Las Vegas is a wild idea of a magic trick gone horribly wrong. And Penn and Teller are great at doing that. So what happens instead of taking the bullet catch trick that they're famous for and they try to catch an ICBM missile in their teeth, goes bad, Vegas is a nuclear wasteland. It's a cool idea and done in 3D like we do it. So you've seen our 3D houses in the past. This house glows, it's irradiated, everyone's a mutant, it's a wasteland. It's very scary but with a pen and teller twist. It's very cool stuff. So then we take another step into creativity and we work with another very cool person, our friend Alice Cooper. And we bring Song and the character Steven, Welcome to My Nightmare to Life. And working with Alice, uh, this is going to be a great house because as you go through that song, there are several scenes that will bring to life and recreate in Welcome to My Nightmare. And that music will be playing in the house. It's going to be a very driving, very edgy house. Uh, and with that creative partnership, again, tied into Halloween Horror Nights, I think the fan base is going to respond hugely to this. And so, those are our four, what I would call, entertainment property houses. Uh, and that's going to be a big message to our guests this year, and a big, I think, reason to want to visit. Now, Halloween Horror Nights, for those of you who have been with us a long, long time, is also very famous for original content. So we're mixing both, and that's something that we strongly believe in. We want to have that tie to our roots of original content while we still bring in these very talented partners and properties. So our next house is our original content, Dead End. This is a very cool house, um, straight from our little town we love of Cary, Ohio. This is a very cursed, very haunted place. Uh, more in the traditional kind of haunted house um, feel and style, Victorian mansion gone horribly wrong. The spirits here are bad, bad evil place. Uh, but again, that spirit of original content of Halloween Horror Nights, and we think you'll love it. Uh, the next one, uh, again, a completely different architectural style, a gothic cathedral, big, heavy, um, stone, gargoyles, uh, very overbearing architecture. Uh, and again, the musical styles, the architectural styles, um, makeup, special effects. This is what Halloween Horror Nights is famous for. Recreating authentic environments. We put you inside them. We want you to suspend disbelief and believe that you're actually there. Um, and again, those of you who have been with us a long time, I think we deliver on that promise. We make people believe that they're there. And Gothic uh, does it, hands down. Uh, the last house in the lineup, uh, we're bringing these guys to life. Universal's House of Horrors. Our classic monsters completely reimagined and done in an all new different way. Uh, we're going to reanimate them this year using a special effects technology that I won't give away right now. You've got to see it to believe it. But Frankenstein, The Bride, Wolf, Drac, all those guys not done like you would expect them to be done. Not in the classic style, but in an all new kind of lightning flash technology style. I'll just kind of leak that out there. I'll throw that technological word. You can bug the design team about it and they'll maybe explain a little bit more to you. But in a really cool, edgy way of bringing the monsters to life in a terrifying fashion. And so that's our house lineup for this year. 
And uh, I think you're going to be very excited about it. We are. We're very charged up because we've got the coolest, biggest names in entertainment property tied in with the excellent creativity that our only Universal Orlando's Halloween creative team can bring to it. And that's probably a good segue to introduce them to you. You guys want to come up? Well, let's kind of, we'll do a little parade here. Who's up for Okay, here we go. Um, in, in no random order, because no one lined up the right way. Come on. Do you want us to back? Yeah, well, no, it's too late now. You blew it. Um, I'll start down at that end. Many of you know TJ Manorino, uh, the director of art and design. Many of you have talked to TJ over the years. TJ is kind of the heart, soul, consciousness. Um, that's heart, soul. Yeah, of Halloween Horror Nights and pretty much everything we designed here at Universal Orlando. Uh, Michael Aiello, uh, show director extraordinaire. Uh, same could be said for Laura Wallace, uh, who is behind our brand new street program this year. And Laura will explain a lot about the very cool reimagined street program we have. Uh, and we'll tell you all about that. That's going to be all brand new for Halloween Horror Nights 22. Michael Burnett, uh, our master of makeup, prosthetics, special effects. Uh, best in the world at it, and Mr. Patrick Braylor, another one of our brilliant show directors. Uh, and these guys will, believe me, take you through everything you want to know about these great properties. They've invested untold and unlimited hours, um, <laughs> and will, over the next several weeks. Um, so again, thank you for being with us here today. We're thrilled and excited. Uh, how many days do we have left? Thank you again, Mr. Schroeder. Jim and King, thank you very much. Okay. Um, so guys, yes. Just a real quick to show you how the room is laid out and you'll exp explore yourselves. So in here will be the houses and Mike and Patrick will be in here. Right over here, uh, you can you can check out our street environment, and Laura Wallace will be there. Back where you came in will be the makeup special effects. Michael Burnett will be there. TJ will be all around. Okay, so you'll get again pretty much as much time as we think you need. And after we're through in here, we're going to take you and show you a couple of the houses as well, and, and that'll be fun and great. So um, go have a great time. Talk to our guys. We'll be around for questions if you have them. Again, thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Thank you.